Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Beretta 9mm USA Senior here. And today I wanted to do a short video on this particular Beretta. This Beretta goes all the way back, well oh geez, more than 11 years. This is a young Beretta's first pistol that I bought him. He wanted a Beretta 9mm a Beretta 92 to be exact. And I still have the gun. This is it right here. It, as you can tell, is kind of worn and in places and the magazines are kind of beat up and it has lock grips on it. Oh, thank you to the guys at Lock Grips because that looks fantastic. Anyway, let's take it out of the box. Let's talk about it a minute, right? This was a Beretta that was a police officer's package bought from Texas Jack. Texas Jack has passed on uh, since then. This has been many years ago. And Young Beretta, a big fan of the Die Hard series, had a fixation on a Beretta 92. And we decided, I decided, that I would help him get one for his first pistol. How old he was. He was about 10, I think. And it was under constant adult supervision, of course. And we still have it. So Beretta 92, nine millimeter, 18 round magazines, 15 round magazines. It depends on which magazines you find for it, but it'll take any of those. Some of them are even 20 round magazines. It is a steel slide, a aluminum alloy frame. No mag in it right now. Sounds really slick. Sounds perfect to me. Okay, so. Little wiggle in it now, in the front. Little wiggle in the back, you know. How many rounds put through it? I'm gonna say at least six or 7,000 rounds, maybe more than that. Been very accurate and very reliable. It is in single action right here with the safety up. Is this a decocker? Why, yes it is. And anytime the decockers work on these pistols from years ago, it gives you a dead trigger. So what do you have to do with it? As soon as you decock the gun, again, this would be the position of decocking, you've either chambered around or you've been shooting the gun and you're in single action here, so you wanna decock the double action and you flip that safety mechanism back up, which gives you a live trigger again in double action. If you pull the trigger again and shoot the gun again, it functions, it puts you back in single action and now you're on the trigger for a single action trigger pull. You've got to master the gun, right? Whatever gun you decide to go with, you need to master that gun and know how it works. If you don't, you're doing yourself a disservice and could be putting yourself in jeopardy if you actually have to use the firearm for self-defense reasons. Learn how these guns operate if you don't know. A Glock is very, very easy. You chamber around and now you've got a uh, staple gun-like trigger and it works every time until the gun runs out. It's the same all the time. It is steel up on top and it is polymer on the bottom. It's what a lot of us call a plastic gun. Is it all plastic? Hell no, it's not all plastic. All this up here is steel. The barrel is steel. The slide is steel, right? It's got steel little inserts in the frame itself to connect to. This, on the other hand, is all steel up on top. Steel barrels, steel hammer, all that jazz, right? Aluminum alloy on the frame. So what you see right here is aluminum alloy straight serrations here on the front strap and straight serrations here on the back strap. You can see that some of the finish is kind of damaging over years. They say this is kind of a rust-like um, thing that happens to aluminum alloy after years. And so that is going on on this pistol a little bit up here. Does it have some bangs on it and some use on it? Check that out. Yeah, I'd say it's had some magazines shoved in it, wouldn't you say? And that's really just a straight up magwell that's just been beat to death. <laughs> So that's that, right? Grips are lock grips, as we talked about before. Another beautiful pair of lock grips, good texture on them. These ones have been on this gun for quite a while. Again, no breakage, nothing like that. They're just really great grip. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 or 70 bucks to change out your grips. Trigger right here, double action. Let's see what that double action is. Hooking it up right down here at the bottom and then I try to pull towards the bottom a little bit to try to get a more accurate reading. 7.1 pounds was what I came up with on a double action pull. Let's see if I can do that again. I'd like to get close to replicating it if I can. 9.11, which seems like a more realistic number to me when I pull it. 8.9, so that's like an average of nine pounds. Number four, 9.7. So let's call it somewhere around nine pounds for a double action trigger pull, which notice here, watch, it's very steady and consistent all the way through. 
So it's a steady and consistent safe trigger pull. That's your safety. Am I gonna shoot him? Am I gonna shoot him? No, not a good time to shoot him. Am I gonna shoot him? No, I'm not. That's your safety right there, your built-in safety on only the double action. After that, after that first round, the slide transitions, it chambers the next round. I'm holding the trigger back right here. The trigger comes out and it resets. Now, if I let my finger completely off, this is a single action trigger pull right here on a Beretta 92. Pull the trigger back, you got that much slack till it firms up and then, and then, wow, I'm gonna say five pounds. Sure does feel like five pounds. Let's see. And if it's still five pounds after all those rounds, that's surprising. Five pounds, five ounces. Four pounds, 11 ounces. Real close to five pounds. Five pounds dead almost. Not a bad guess, pretty accurate. There you go. Open slide design makes it ultra reliable as far as feeding is concerned and ejecting. I think it's fantastic. It's well proven. When the military did their first uh, trials on these guns, they were running them to 80,000 rounds with one or two malfunctions. I will buy that for sure. They all break down the same way. You push in this button right here, you slide this down right here, and the whole slide comes off. Super, super easy. The new ones, if you grab them from the back and you pull them back, they automatically reset. But these older ones don't, right? You need to push them all the way back and throw the lever. And there you go. Is there anything here I did not cover? Slide, lock, slide release. Nice and big, easy to hit with your thumb, right? New magazine in, hit that, drives it forward, chambers the first round. If you do that, you're in single action. If you want to holster after that, reach up, decock, push back up, because right now you got a dead trigger. If you decock on a live round, there's a live round in there, you push back up and now you've got a double action hot pistol that requires nine pounds, 10 pounds to pull the trigger. After that, after you pull that first trigger, pistol racks, pistol chambers the next round, and now for the next 14 rounds, 17 rounds, whatever it is, you're in single action with the hammer back and a five pound trigger pull. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching the channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, the Beretta 9mm USA channel, and the CZ 9mm USA channel for more guns and gear videos coming to you in the future. We'll see you guys on the next video, and remember, your Second Amendment is worth protecting.